In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to calculate age from a birth date variable in SPSS. So in this example, I've got the birth date variable here. This is the birth date of all these people in this data file. And it's specified with uh, the day, the month, and the year. So we've got here somebody that was born on the 10th of a month, and that month corresponds to February, number two, and born in 1986. And this is a date variable specified in, in SPSS. And you can see that the variable type is, in fact, date. And you need to specify your date variable as a date variable. You can't just type this as a string variable. Uh, it has to be very specifically a date variable. And in this case, I've specified it accurately with date, month, and year. Now, the next part that you need to specify is uh, the a date from which to calculate age, which is either the current date or the date at which people provided you with the data. Uh, so you just need to specify what that date will be. Now I will mention that it doesn't matter how you format your date variable. You can specify it in any format you want. Uh, and I understand that your, your birth date and the date from which you want to calculate age, they don't even have to be in the same format to use this method. But I'm going to make sure that they are consistent just to make things uh, more straightforward in terms of interpreting it. So to create this form date uh, from which to calculate the age, go into transform and compute variable. Now I've already done this and this is me specifying the date from which I want to calculate the age and so I've called it form date and then I've got this uh, numeric expression here and I found that by going into function group and date creation and then clicking on date DMY and when you double click on that you get the date DMY function and then I just have to specify the date from which I want to calculate age which is today's current date 22nd June 06 2018 and you get the information here as a descriptor in terms of what you have to do and so I click on OK and then I get this really large number which is I understand uh, the number of minutes uh, from that date and another date. We just want to calculate, uh, we want to change that into a date variable and we want it in this format here. So I click on OK, change it to date, and there we've got 22nd June 2018. Now the last bit I need to do is just calculate the age variable and that is a piece of syntax here. And the key variable is C time dot days. And I'm going to put that in the description of the video uh, so that you can just copy and paste this. Uh, so it's a compute age equals C time dot days and then I've got form date which I've calculated minus birth date which was inputted into the data file divided by 365.25 so when I run this syntax SPSS creates another variable called age and so this person is 32.3 years of age now in a lot of cases people report their age in a rounded format, but just to show you that this worked, we can see this person was born in 1986 and today is 2018. So if I go 2018 minus 1986, I get 32. So if most people do not report their age in, uh, to decimal places, and I can transform this or change it uh, so that it's actually rounded if I wanted to. So age uh, dot e r n d r n d which is round and then uh, you just write r n d and you put age and that's going to convert this age variable into a rounded format so I click on OK and here are the rounded ages and so now I can actually use age as a variable to predict things or to report descriptive statistics etc from the birth date variable now as I mentioned from what I've read, you can use any birth date format you want and this will work. And I also understand that you can even have different formats across your birth date and your form date and it'll still calculate it accurately. I'll say I didn't, I haven't even tried that, but I have read from a, an authoritative source that that is actually the case. Uh, so this is a really, in my opinion, quick and easy way to calculate age uh, from a birth date. And again, I'll put that syntax at the bottom of the video so that you can copy and paste uh, even when you want to use it. 